Hey guys, it's Talia. I am here today to do my, this video will be the first of the three book flip throughs that I said in my update that I was going to do. So, that's all this video is going to be. If you're looking for anything else, you're not going to find it here. So, I thought the first book that I would do the flip through would be for the Mary Englebright Cross Stitch for All Seasons. Um, and this book is, in case anybody's wondering about publisher and all that good stuff, uh, it's put out by Meredith Press, and I think it is from copyright 1997. So this book looks pretty good. I mean, this is a really good copy, considering it's 30 years old. So, um, it's put out into sections, obviously, for seasons, and you can't come up here right now. Go do something. Um, you have a table of contents. And then um, she got, kind of gives like a little introduction with the old photos and whatnot. And first section is going to be autumn. And we have everyone needs their own spot. Um, and here we have a couple other patterns. We have the dogs. And I like how they've got that one on a baseball cap. And then you have kind of a placemat for your dog bowls. And then the book ends. And then they've got this on kind of a coat, uh, coat hanger plaque. And they do give you each of those patterns. They actually give you each one. And then they have the alphabet for the dog. Um, the doggy dish placemat. And then we have trick or treat. With the little boy. And then <laughs> candy corn button covers. And then we also have that little boy just by himself, kind of as a centerpiece on a stick, like for a tablescape or something. And then those little candy corn, we have them as a basket ribbon. And then the big giant pumpkin with the candy corns on the uh, corners. That would be a difficult pumpkin to do. That is all one color. That's a very large section of one color. And the next one is going to be Home is Where the Heart Is. That little chair right there is fabulous. Remember that chair. See this chair? See the kitty on the top of the chair? Remember that. Now we have the chair by itself as a key hook. And then you have the home as a key ring. And then home is where the heart is as a pillow. Then the cat that was on top of the chair. They put several of him on, I guess, a dish rag or something. I'll look in a second and see exactly what that is. Then the flowers, that is actually the motif that's on the chair on a pillow. And again, like I said, they do give you every single one of these individual patterns, um, in individual designs like how they've got them mocked up they've got them as its own separate patterns so you don't have to do any figuring out um yeah that was a towel that the cats were on and then we have one oh um they do have at the end of each section they have bright ideas and it gives you and i it gives you a couple of extra ideas on how to finish things 
or um, a different way to do a particular pattern or motif. Um, just to give you some examples, um, for Autumn, um, any dog lover would be delighted with any of these frolicking pups that stitched as a label pin for the uh, everyone needs their own spot. Um, for Home is where the heart is, uh, stitch the kitty design on a perforated plastic, attach it to a wooden skewer, and you have a quick stitch kitty lover's plant poke. Those type of little things. Um, and the first in the winter section is going to be Believe. And I did uh, run across this in one of those cross-stitching country crafts uh, magazines that I uh, purchased at the book sale. That I was doing the magazine flip-throughs. That's the design of, that I came across in the for sale um, like advertisement section. Shopping section, that's what it was. And then we have a collection of ornaments, as one should in a winter Christmas se section. You have a doll, you have a little toy soldier, you have a top, a train, um, the little pull toy elephant, the ducky, and then you've got the teddy bear down here, and the drum down here on this end. So you got a few of them. And then the Santa. They've got it as like a lapel pin. He'd make another nice ornament though. Um, then we have a tree bag. And then the Believe placemats. Those are pretty. I mean, if I was the type of person that would do that sort of thing, then that would be nice. Um, what do you call it? Like the table linens, and I set up for a Christmas um, family dinner. And the next one is called Let It Snow. With all the little snowmen. And then we have the snowman stocking. In the snowman wool mittens and scarf. And this book actually gives you the pattern to make these mittens. Just to FYI. And then you got a couple of nice little card design motifs. It actually does give you. It does keep kind of some directions in um, on how to make like the scarf and the stocking and whatnot. So it does give you some instruction on that. And we have peace. Um, we have a peace stocking. It's basically taking the word from the main design and put it onto a stocking. And then the ornaments there with the smaller angels. And then the main angel on a tree topper. I don't know if I would do that as a tree topper. I would just frame it. Stitch it up by itself and frame it. And then the, some of the bright ideas for the winter section. Um... Uh, for Believe, which is the one with the Santa, uh, it says, Share your needlework talent, stitch the sweet Saint Nick pin design, and use it to create a one-of-a-kind Christmas card simply mounted behind a cut-out circle on a blank note card. So they're basically saying, um, the Santa, that would be a really big, that would be a really big design. Believe, oh, okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me go back here. They're talking about stitching that on a card. So that's, that's what I was saying. Um, and then also for 
let it snow, which is the one with the snowman, to make a spectacular garland for make to make a spectacular garland for your Christmas tree, stitch several of the stars from the card design on perforated plastic, string them together using floss with colorful beads between the stitched pieces. So they do give you like four different other ideas for each pattern that's in that section. So, and the next uh, next section is spring. And the first pattern is going to be felicitations. This is the main pattern. Nice mother goose vibe. Hell, it is mother goose because you got mother goose. Um, that's the uh, the cat with the fiddle. Um, a dish ran away with the spoon. And then the cow jumping over the moon. So yeah. Um, what was that? Hey Diddle Diddle, I think, was the name of the nursery rhyme. Then you got the big mother goose with the smaller. No, I thought I saw something else. Sorry, my bad. Mother goose. And then they've got the Afghan. And the moon and the cow as like a tie back for a curtain. Um, this one I've struggled to figure out exactly what they've done. I can't determine if it looks if it's sorry, I just, I'm here showing you the pattern. I can't determine if they have stitched this and cut it out and mod podged it to the table or if they've just taken a printed copy and mod podged it to the table I can't tell but with this being a stitching book you would think that it would be a, the stitched copy you'd stitch it up cut it out and then mod podge it to the table don't know they don't give you um well I guess they do they do give you the pattern for just the cat and the spoon and the little flower motifs. Maybe they do. Maybe that's what it is. You just have to get this book and try to figure it out yourself. And then we have the Happy Gardener. That's cute. And then we have the some of the little motifs on a cushion and then I think this is just like a pin here. And then on the apron got this down at the bottom and I believe they may have stitched some of the stitched some of the, design, the motifs like the little flowers up here in this section And then finally, with that, with the little ribbons around the hat and the pot. Um, yeah. And then finally, the little small motif on the uh, pocket of the overalls. And then the last one in this section is a good marriage. And this is stitched actually from separately, like you have the frame and then the wording is a separate stitched piece that you would kind of mount behind it. Because they do have another option where they do something different. There's the flowers on the pillow, very 90s. And then the birds. Look how they've got the butterfly on the handkerchief. And then the other option that I was talking about was doing this as kind of a wedding announcement. Or a, yeah, wedding date announcement. You all lay down? Lay down. Lay down there. Okay. 
and then the bright ideas um, for a good marriage you have um, use the sampler alphabet to personalize a wedding album cover bed linens or towels for the happy couple um, the happy gardener um, any of the banding designs would also work well on towels, tote bags, eyeglass cases, basket trims, just about anything. And then summer. And I think this is probably my favorite design out of the book. Is this nice, elaborate, cute teapot. Somebody really wants attention right now. He's skulking around. And then we have the coasters with the different teapots. It can also be found here. I can't come up here right now, darling. And then we have the teapot cozy with the cherries, and then the curtain tie back as well. And then that, which I believe might be a table runner. Um, I think it's a table runner. Hold on, let me look. Because I do have it listed by, yeah, it's a table runner. Of course, I could see just doing it by itself and framing it like that. And then, this is the one that Katie, the stash queen, needs to pay attention to. This is the one she needs. It's good to be queen. And I like, I've noticed so many little different motifs in here. You've got the money bags and uh, the cat sleeping on the floor with the cat with the crown. And then you've got the jester monkey. <laughs> so many cute little things in here. And then they have that crown on a pillow. I don't understand why they had to add all these little ribbons and stuff. That would have been pretty just as is. And then those. Like a checkbook cover here. And then I believe this is just supposed to be like a paperweight. And then... Bloom where you are planted. Um, then we have a little purse. I could see that doing it's something similar, not as a purse, but maybe doing something like this, stitching it up and making a small um project bag possibly and then kind of on the similar vein as that doing it as like a another table runner type thing and then another little bag and then they have these as well the plant pokes Oh, sorry. It's a cake mat. Um, and the bright ideas, a couple of the bright ideas for that section. Um, for a time for tea, which was all the teapots. For a special gift, stitch one of the bright and cherry coaster designs and finish it as a jar topper. What a great addition to your homemade jellies, jams, and sauces. Um, says uh, for it's good to be queen uh, it says to make special gift 
To make special gift tags or enclosure cards, stitch one of the small motifs from the sampler on perforated paper, such as one of the little birds or a single mini flower. And then we do have an additional, um, additional design, which is the Four Seasons Memory Frame. Which is really pretty. So, um, so that is the flip through for this book. Um, like I said, that is Mary Engelbright Cross Stitch for All Seasons. And I think it'd be a definitely a good book to get a hold of because you never know when you want to do something bright and fun so uh so that's it for this video um actually i did it a little bit shorter than i did than i tried to do last night i just things kept going wrong last night so be on the lookout for my next bit uh, book flip through um coming up here shortly uh, so, bye for now, guys.